And joining me now is Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Illinois. He serves on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. Um, so you bet. was it appropriate for Michael Flynn, the incoming national security advisor, to be doing Turkey's bidding in such a manner while President Obama was still in office? Uh, absolutely not. If this is in fact confirmed, and I've, I've been a huge advocate for saying let the special uh, investigator do his work, Mr. Mueller, uh, I think he's doing a good job of uncovering what needs to be uncovered. People deserve these answers. But if in fact this is true, that the general was in essence offering to sell a forcible removal of this cleric outside of the will or the extrajudicial uh, process of the United States, to, to benefit personally, financially from it, that's a massive problem. I don't, I don't know the exact codes this violates uh, or the exact laws, but I can tell you working outside of the U.S. government's extradition process uh, or even political decision-making process, if this is in fact true, this is a huge issue, and, and uh, it sounds like we will get to the bottom of whatever that is. One thing we, we know for a fact uh, is that Flynn did fail to uh, disclose his lobbying for Turkey uh, until after he'd been fired from the White House. Uh, for misleading Vice President Pence about his contacts with the Russian ambassador. Uh, what about that? What we know for a fact that he, he didn't disclose the lobbying for Turkey until too late, I guess. Yeah, another huge issue. And, and you know, on some of these, when people say, I, I didn't remember a certain meeting or whatever, I, I can give some credence to that in some cases because I understand some people are in thousands of meetings or whatever, you know, every week, and you can forget. When it comes to whether you had lobbying ties with a foreign government, uh, this is why I wasn't a huge fan of Michael Flynn from the very beginning. And in fact, on early interviews, I said, this is like the one administration pick that I worry about, and, uh, and it's coming to fruition. So to hide that information is not just to... Uh, level a federal crime to hide that information, but I think it goes to show that maybe he was working to other issues around it. But again, that's what's the great thing about Mueller is going to get to the bottom of that, and I think uh, any charges that are appropriate will be forthcoming. What do you make of Stephen Miller, the White House policy advisor, having been interviewed uh, as part of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation, um, which obviously brings it even closer to President Trump's inner circle? I don't know what to make of it. It's tough to read the tea leaves. I mean, the, uh, Robert Mueller surprised us with uh, indictment, you know, that happened a month prior uh, that was announced, you know, a month later. So I think there's a lot that we don't necessarily know or see where it's going. I think he's going to do his job. I think right now it's a huge stretch uh, and probably a bridge too far to say this goes up to President Trump. But I think anybody around him that's guilty of whether it's any kind of version of collusion or hiding information or whatever, uh, we're going to get to the bottom of that. And I think ultimately uh, he's going to do his job. And I think he's a very honorable person who'll get to the bottom of whatever that information is. Before you go, Congressman, I I'm interested in your thoughts. What do you think the Republican Party, Senate Republican leaders should do about Senate candidate uh, Roy Moore? Well, I think Roy Moore needs to step aside now. Uh, these allegations are disgusting, and I believe them uh, against him, and there's no way to defend this. And secondly, I think the Senate should say that they will refuse to seat him or, in fact, expel him if he is the, uh, if he's the senator from Alabama. Look, Alabama has a right to pick their senators, but this is beyond the pale uh, to have this kind of contact with somebody when they were 14 years old. I don't care how long ago it was. He was an adult, and, uh, and you know, there could be more information coming forward. Who knows? But this is a bridge too far, and the Republican Party ought to disown every aspect of him. Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Illinois, thanks so much.